Character designs are often made on paper or in a digital 2D drawing, and they can be transferred directly into Maya as image planes. This demo will show you how to import images into Maya and use them as modeling aids. I've made two drawings of this character, one from the front view and one from the side view, and these views together will be used in the orthographic views in Maya. I've added some guidelines highlighting some important landmarks of the character's body so that the two views will be aligned in Maya and not cause any discrepancies when trying to match features in the different views. From Photoshop, I can simply crop and export just the parts that I want to use for each individual view. In the resulting images, notice that I have cropped only the sides of the images, not the top and bottom. Now these two images will be identical in height and the features will match when I import them into Maya. In Maya, I will open the For view and look at the side view first. This button here will create an image plane. I locate the image that I want to use and then switch back to the for view. I'll look at the front view, import an image plane again, find the image I want to use. And now in the perspective view I can see that both images are the same size, they're aligned, I can see the features lining up pretty well. But this may not be the scale that I want my character at. In the outliner I can see that these are simply objects in the scene. I can select them both directly and I can scale and place them as I want. So if I'd like my character bigger I can set the scale according to the scene, according to existing characters or props, uh, or to a scale that I have predefined. Now I'm placing the character's feet right at the origin. It is important to model with your character centered on the origin so that a lot of the setup tasks will be easier. Now the last step I want to do before I begin modeling is to move these out of the way. If I start modeling an object, you'll see that the image planes do crop the object, so I won't be able to see all of it from each given orthographic view. It's hard to see at first, but some, ob some parts of the object will be obscured by the image plane. So I do want to move them out of the way, and the way I can do this is by dragging each image on its respective view axis. So the front view I can drag in the Z direction, and the side view I can drag in the X direction to place them out of the way of the model, uh, but still in view and scaled appropriately in both the front and side views.